Hey guys, welcome back to Charlie and me, our camping vlog. The sun is shining. Well, it's a little bit dull to be honest. It's a Friday. It's very, very clammy, which means it's warm. It's about 18 to 20 degrees Celsius. We're heading off for another weekend. Last weekend, which the video you might have seen by now, we went to Wexford. We're heading off to another farm. It's another air, although this place is called Bano Bay Seaside Farm Motorhome Parking. It's in Bano Bay in County Wexford. Have never been before. Was chatting to the lady on the phone. It's a first come, first service. Like if, if you get there and it's full, unfortunately, if they've no room. However, they say that they have plenty of room. I think she might have mentioned the number, 35 to 40 pitches. So there should be plenty of room, although the way things are going lately. So it's Friday afternoon, it's 10 to three. Deirdre and Charlie are just finishing up and we're gonna hit the road. It's about an hour drive from here. She says it's 50 minutes in a car. We're in the B bar. We're heading down to stay Friday night and Saturday night. So the usual, if that camera behaves itself, skip to here if you want to miss the road footage. And otherwise you just see us coming in the gates of the farm. It's a working farm as far as I know. They do have a website. And actually, if I just bring it up here, I can give you the website details. It's Bano Bay Seaside. Oh, I'm going one page too far. It's Bano Bay Seaside Farm Motorhome Park and they do actually have a website which is southeastcampervanparking.com So check it out, I'll put the details here southeastcampervanparking.com Right, next time we talk to you, we'll just be arriving. So we've made it to Bano Bay Seaside Farm uh, Motorhome Park. You could see uh, Charlie's there. I'll turn the camera in a second and show you. The ICC, which is the Irish Motor Caravan, IMCC, have a meet here, the Southeast region. And there's a lot of other campers here. Um, here, why don't I just turn the camera? So that's where we are. 10 of the pitches over here actually have electric power. There's fresh water, wastewater, and black water disposal. It's a working farm. It's actually milking time at the moment and you can go in and actually watch the cows being milked. Uh, Norman View, which is another air over near Hookhead, is just over there, but there is the bay. Um, the first three rows of vans are from the Motor Caravan Club. Um, that chap over there, Came over to say hi to us. He's a friend of, of Dennis, and that's where we're parked. Uh, 
So what I'll do is tomorrow we'll get the drone up, give you a look at the place. It has space for about 30 units. You can see the pitches are, are actually marked off. Power is only on these pitches here, but uh, it's nice, it's quiet. Tomorrow I'll tell you there's little things like there's fresh bread available, there's a coffee van will be here tomorrow morning. We'll show you all that tomorrow but for the moment we've just got here got to go make a bit of grub but remember if you're coming here it's first come first serve you'll get them i give you all the details tomorrow of the contact details through our website and uh, i'm going to go and get some grub and this guy is looking for a bit of feeding as well As you know from previous videos, I'm what Chris from the Camping Crew podcast calls name blind. I just get places names wrong, I get people's names wrong. I've been calling this Barrow, Bannon. It's Bano, Bano Seaside, Bano Bay Seaside <laughs> Farm Motorhome Park. Uh, it is a working farm, it's a dairy farm. Uh, you can actually, I think I mentioned in the video, you can actually go in and watch or help milk the cows in the morning or again in the evening. They're done twice a day. As I said, the IMCC are here. Now they are a motor caravan and caravan club. So you will see one or two caravans in the video because they have booked some pitches here. So let me just take a quick look around. Now it's very foggy. It's 11 o'clock in the morning now, I think. It's a quarter to 12 actually. It's very foggy, but very warm. I hope to get the drone up. Uh, over the weekend to show you this place from a height and to show you the bay that's behind me is absolutely beautiful and when the tide is out you can walk to uh, an island i think it's actually bano island anyway let me turn the camera and show you where we are so when you come in the gate all the pitches are marked and they're a fine size pitch they really are there's about five meters between each one now as i said you will notice some caravans here and that's because of the club it's a first come first served basis you can contact them through their facebook page through messenger we have here your gray water disposal fresh water and over there you have your black water and that is a selling point for any place like this there's another fresh water tap there and there's a tap there for rinsing down the black water disposal and that's a fine size for any motorhome to pull up to now, as you can see, it's a big park. I think she said 40. She can hold up to 40. They do have an overflow, but this is the main park. Um, there are nine electrical points, which are just here at the front. Um, room for improvement. They have intentions of improving uh, over the coming year. They're only open since June, since the uh, lockdown has uh, permitted them to open and that's the entrance you would have seen that on the video if you like your water sports you can swim there is a pathway just all along the far side of that hedge which brings you down to that bay when the tide is out as i said you can walk across to an island there is swimming kayaking you can do a bit of horse riding locally if you want if you've got your bikes bring your bikes there's, there's plenty to do here and everywhere if you do want to travel isn't that far a drive so you could just leave your pitch and then come back um, when i talk to bernie later on i will get you the details oh i think i know oh, i mentioned it on instagram uh, during the summer at the moment just on saturdays uh, maria's van comes in here it's maria's cup on tea she does teas and coffees and buns and minerals and ice creams but she was telling us today actually i'll put a photograph up here she was telling us today that she will be here every morning for the summer. I think something like from 8.30 to 11 or 8 to 11 or 8 to 10, but that will all be decided on how busy the site is. But as you can see, it's pretty busy. The uh, Motor Caravan Club have the first three rows there. And then the rest of these people are just like-minded campers like ourselves. As I say, it's a working farm. That's the milking parlor over there. But it's a beautiful place. I really hope the weather clears up and we can get the drone up and take a look at this place from the skies. I will have a chat with Bernie later on and find out about pricing details.
So I was telling you that there are private beaches near here and uh, as murky as it is, myself, Deirdre and Charlie are going to take a walk down to what they call the farm beach. So hang on, I'll turn this camera. Still not used to it. And there's signs like this that say farm beach. So a little bit of music and let's go for a walk. Oh, they do say wear boots. We've got to... Uh, walking boots on because the cattle also use this to go from field to field. private beaches it's sandy it's stony but you know what if you just wanted to come down for a dip or just like we did for a walk and the weather was better how beautiful is that so we've walked from where I just showed you the beach we've walked through a field and we found this bay now seven Deirdre are trying to figure out we think when the tide is out, you can walk from where we were a second ago around. But Deirdre reckons that people come through the field and make their way down here because the grass is flat and it seems to be the only way down. Now, I'm going to be honest, I wouldn't fancy it at all. Oh no. No, Deirdre, I think. That's pretty steep. But look people would do it and it's a fine little bay there is a height barrier just there but look at that
So guys, here we are at Bano Bay Seaside Farm Motorhome Parking. It's a working farm. I know I've said it a few times in the video, but please do bear that in mind. When you're coming in the gate, Bernie will give you a page. Now it's not rules and regulations. Well, it is rules and regulations, but you know, there are certain things. What I do like about it, if you're gonna stay for five days, there are vacation recommendations and they give you five different things. Actually, they give you eight things to do. Places to see, there are good walks in the area. Uh, there's loads of beaches, especially you can go to uh, Bano Island. You can swim on all these water. In fact, there was um, a father and son just back from kayaking just out here in the bay and they said they had a blast. It's beautiful here. The pitches, as I mentioned, and you would have seen from the drone footage, are of a fine size. Price-wise, they have, right, they only opened in June, so they do hope to open during winter. And I'll put the photograph up here over Charlie's head of the prices. They do have a winter price, and they do have a summer price. I'll read them out to you here, but do you know what? There they are, there. It's worth it, it's beautiful. Uh, Bernie came over and gave Deirdre some non-pasteurized milk, literally straight from the cow into the fridge and it was chilled and she had it on some cornflakes and she said it was beautiful. I mean, how natural can you get it? They do sell the chilled milk. I think like 150 a litre, there's an honesty box. There's bread, I mentioned earlier on about Maria's cup on the van that comes here and Marisa that she's gonna be doing that during the summer, all every day, seven days during the summer. And I think that's an added little bonus. Another bonus is there are taps as you make your window gate, there are fresh water taps halfway here. There's fire extinguishers everywhere. And there is gray water and there is black water disposal as well. And I think having the black water disposal is one of the best things about a place like this. There's plenty of space. The pitches are plenty big. And there's a dog walking past and Charlie wants to say hi. Now <laughs> look. So we put all the details, the contact details at the beginning of the video. I give them to you again. As I say, it's first come, first served. However, if you contact them with any questions you have through their Facebook group, they will get back to you as quick as they possibly can. It's well worth the trip out. And you know what, Wexford, it's beautiful. All the beaches are beautiful. That is it from me. I'm Aaron. This is Charlie, Charlie and me are camping vlog. Thank you very much for watching the video. Thanks for your support. Until we do it from another campsite near you very, very soon. Take care.